Hey, hey. I always you love to hear those. Kind of nice cold around here. I hear nothing about talk about how nice it is in Wilmington. Wilmington sucks as far as I'm concerned. This place is too cold. They ought to move the ocean somewhere else, probably somewhere up around Ohio where I'm from. Because you see, I'm what you call a mighty Yankee. And I'm going to tell you something. A long time ago, our general marched right through this great country that you call God's country. It should be moved up around New York, or like I said, over to Ohio, and boy, you better not put your thumbs down to me, because I can see I might break them off. I want you all just to shut up. I'm Bobby Bolton. We'll know the world over as well as fantastic. And they sent me down here in the armpit of the world to wrestle in front of you people. This has got to be the worst night of my life. You people, shut your mouth while I'm wrestling. Don't make a noise. I've got a busted ear crying. You need to shut, shut up. That bothers me when people speak out like that. Now look, you know, years ago I used to have police blonde hair, but it's all natural. I still got a head full of hair. I'm down here to hit a guy by the name of Mark Ash who thinks he's something that he's originally from Wilmington, but I'm going to tell you what, after I get done whipping him, I'll challenge any of you bunch of no good rebels from the South. I'll take you on. I'll break you in half and I'll make you like a Yankee for the night's over with. Don't you play me no music because I don't need it. I'm here in Amo. Well, wrestling fans, you're about to see the match between Bobby Fulton and me, Mark Ash, the one that's with me here. That's right. This match was our second meeting. Uh, Bobby Fulton apparently you tell me the way he's talking, and you'll see if we started the match. I don't think he learned anything from our first meeting. I want you to shut your mouth. I told you people I've got a busted ear drum, and you talk and stab it out of the way of me. I want y'all to shut up, hey boy. I'm a, if you had glasses on, if you didn't have glasses on, I'd come out there and bust you right in the mouth right now. He's picking on the fans just a little bit. It's a good thing, you got that it's a good thing he's picking on them because he's got a match coming up here, I'll tell you. That's what. right, because uh, Bobby Ford he apparently didn't learn anything. He apparently didn't learn anything by the fact that I had Ivan Koloff in my corner, who I've already whipped. This is why he was in my corner. And Please visit you people. Suck, I don't like you. Well, Bobby Fulton lets the people of Wilmington, North Carolina here at the New Hanover County Fair know that he doesn't care much for them. Here you are in Wilmington, North Carolina, where they love you here, Mark. It doesn't matter if you're a good guy, bad guy, or however how you wrestle, they love you in Wilmington. Exactly. I'll tell you, I tell you I've, been, I've been supposedly the bad guy wrestler come through this town. I got cheered no matter what I did and who I did it to. The only two... I guess what they would call the heels in the profession. I remember you coming into an arena and the crowd just going nuts. And I also remember Ole Anderson coming into Legion Stadium one night and uh, they were cheering him. And he was the heel going against the Rock and Roll Express. And uh, what he did to them that night, the crowd loved it. Exactly. The Rock and Roll Express has never been famous in this part of the country. This has always been Ric Flair and Ole Anderson territory to say the least. Bobby Fulton was telling the crowd a little bit earlier he had a busted eardrum and he didn't like loud music and I think he ticked everybody off including the guy that played the music because he really cranked it up that night right here. And this was, this this took place at the, at the uh, J.C.'s County Fair, is that right? The New Hanover County Fair, that's right. The J.C.'s have nothing to do with the fairs. It's just the New Hanover County Fair. Okay, it's the New Hanover County Fair. It used to be the J.C. Fair a long time ago. That's where I got that from. I guess I've been corrected these days. Yeah. <laughs> Jay-Z has nothing whatsoever to do with it. Well, maybe they all too. I mean, they're, they're... say, Mark, that wasn't a four-letter word. <laughs> That's right. I asked the people what they wanted, and they told me. I told them to be careful what they asked for, so this hey, might get it. You people are too cheap to come in into this tent. I'm going to come out there around them rides and I'll whip your butt after I get done whipping this guy. Go inside this tent. He don't cost you a dime, you bunch of cheap skates. I ain't never seen so many people all my life. Come out here. Hey, you shut your mouth. Mark Ash. You take it. Shut up! You, you, uh oh! He didn't like. He didn't like. Who was that? He just hit. That was ICW. Uh, 
Actually, we're the ICW members. Uh, Pete Noel works on the office and promotion end. He's up in New York working in the ICW exactly. office. Exactly. He's in the promotional end of things. Now, cameraman just a little bit slow that night. And, uh, of course, you got the upper hand on him real quick, and he started crying like a baby, and the referee come in and broke it up. Exactly. The difference between me and Bobby Fulton on this particular evening is uh, Bobby Fulton, I don't know what he came for, but me and Mark Ash came for a fight. Well, the one thing about it is when you're in North Carolina, that's your home state, uh, as far as where, you know, your, your living quarters and everything, uh, that's, that's an interesting place because you always put on a show there. And down in the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area, they love you down there. You hail out of there a little bit. And uh, up in Virginia, they love you. I mean, they love you all over. Down in Georgia, I remember, I remember one night I watched you wrestle a bumblebee on the, on the Georgia wrestling one night. Oh, yes, old global wrestling. I wrestled a bumblebee. I can't remember what his real name, what, they, what his name was at that point in time. I'll never forget that. One o'clock in the morning, to cut TV on, and there's me and Mark Ash wrestling a bumblebee. But you'll take them on, big or small, won't you? I'll take them on. If they get in the ring, that's fine. Just because they need a gimmick doesn't mean mean Mark Ash needs a ridiculous gimmick to get himself over. Bobby Fulton dragging his feet a little bit. He, he realizes right at this moment he bit off a little bit more than he could chew, and then he up, upset the crowd, and so now here he is in a strange location. Nobody likes him. Well, the thing you got to realize about Bobby Fulton, for the majority of his career, Bobby Fulton was a fan-favorite wrestler. He's used to the crowd cheering for him. So I think when he showed up and the crowd didn't particularly like him, that has just flustered him and thrown his whole game plan off. Well, he showed up in Mark Ash's backyard. I mean, good gracious. I mean, you, when you come to town to wrestle Mark Ash down around Wilmington, North Carolina, northeastern South Carolina area, let me tell you, you've walked into a hornet's nest of, of Mark Ash fans. Exactly. They said Bobby Fulton, I think that when the crowd's not for him, that it does throw his game plan off because all the decades he spent with WCW and the UWF and Mid-South wrestling, he was used to being cheered. And they're cheering you on just about everything you do there, a little shoulder block, and of course he bails out, and, and the crowd loves that. And that's not necessarily a good place for him to be after telling them off. <laughs> well, he's already threatened to whip everybody out there, and now he's out there in the middle of them. <laughs> he, he, he's telling the referee that, that, that you hit him in the face with a closed fist and pulled his tights at the same time. How, how can you do that? I don't know, but you got to realize, <laughs> me and Mark Ash, he probably did it. And of course, this, this particular referee, he believes him. I mean, I, I don't understand this guy. He says, he says, he says quit pull, pulling his hair and pulling his tights and, and, and hitting him with a fist. Now, now that takes at least three three hands. How did you do that? I don't know how I did it, but Bobby Fulton, like I said, I don't think Bobby Fulton came for the fight that he got in the ring with that night. All righty, Pro Wrestling DVDS.com. That's where you get all the greatest of the Mean Mark Ash tapes. Right, for wrestling DVDs.com. They don't do videos, just DVDs. Just DVDs. MarkAsh.com. And then he falls down getting in the ring. What, what happened was off camera there, but what you didn't see, he ran out of the ring, took the microphone away from the ring announcer, and runs his mouth a little bit, threatening one of the fans, or, or telling the fan why he couldn't wrestle him, and then he jumps back in the ring, or, or tries, and tripped over the top rope and fell right in the ring. But he got his head back together there, got you in an arm lock, and, and then it's like he, you, he reversed, or you reversed it on him. You pulled his tights and his hair and wiggled. That's what you did. Yeah, I did all of that at one time, too. <laughs> He's trying anything. He's finding a referee to listen to him, I believe, because the referee keeps reprimanding you for this. Oh, you got him good there, because I heard him holler all the way here. And this has been a oh, couple yeah. This has been about four years ago. This took place back in October of 1998. And you can still hear the echo of him screaming from pain from that headlock. All righty, there we go. A little bit of action in the ring there. Uh, tries to get you an arm drag. You reverse it on him, give him an arm drag, and a good crowd pleaser, and a little Muhammad Ali shuffle there. Looked like coming in from Mark Ash. Well, that's the point. See, Bobby Fulton now, what he, he, he didn't, he, was, he got more of a fight than he was anticipating. What he's doing, as soon as I get the upper hand, he's trying to slow the pace down so he can get me off of my game plan. And the referee's still listening to him. You're showing him how what, what happened there, and, he said you were pulling his hair. 
Actually, he was a southern boy. He said he was pulling his hire. Well, you got to realize that he's up from around Ohio, so he could have been a southern boy. Well, he's got one of them southern Ohio accents. He pulled his hire. <laughs> been eating some of that southern fried chicken while he's been down here in the Carolinas. He must have. He must have ate too much of it before he showed up this night. StarProWrestling.com. You can see some free streaming videos there on a regular basis. Uh, as a little lull in the action, this match takes place as the referee tries to sort some things out. And now he wants to shake your hand. Bobby Colton wants to shake your hand, Mark. What, were, what was going through your mind at this particular time? Well, you got to realize I haven't always been on the side of the fence where everybody liked me. Or I, of course, I'm still a dirty player, but the bottom line is, you know, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think. Is he pulling one of my old tricks here and he's trying to get me with one of my own, own games here? Or what, you know, what's, what, what does he want to score? Does he, you know, want to start over and fight clean? Well, we just found out that he didn't want to shake your hand. He wanted to break your nose. That's what he wanted to do. Exactly. He wanted his upper hand. He needed, it comes back down to the second Mark asked philosophy. Don't give me an opening because I'm going to take it. Well, a great day in the morning. Good, good uh, elbow. As he came up, as he swung, swung you off the rope there. He had an opportunity for, for a good submission hold there, but he, he bypassed it by trying to show his strength, which was a mistake because uh, you were in good shape uh, that particular year, Mark. Exactly. Here, Trey Dodd almost missed the hip toss. Oh, he's, he's reaching he, in his tights. He's something. got something. He's got something. He just pulled out of his tights. Uh, was that a foreign object? I don't know. It might have been a domestic object made in America. I didn't really get you know, a chance to read where it was from when, it, when he was smacking upside the head with it. Well, the one thing, you still got it in his hand. One thing we do know, it is an illegal object in the ring uh, under the rules of this match. Well, it's definitely a, a, a violation of the rules. I don't know how illegal it is because there were cops on hands and he wasn't arrested. But uh, it's definitely a violation of the rules of a wrestling match and the referees allowed it to go on. Oh, and then he crammed your head right into the ring post. Oh, check this out. Well, there was a strut made by him. Here he was having a fantastic. Back in the early 80s, they, there was a strut that they made famous. Thought we were about to see it right there. He's got to beat you first. Well, you'd think so. You know, he, but of course, at this point, he probably thinks he's got a, it's all over but to cry at this point. But I did notice one thing. While you were out, he turned around, broke the strut, turned around because he realized not to turn his back on you. Exactly. Because like I said, this is the first time he's oh. been in the ring with you. I don't know what he had in his hand, whether it's legal, domestic, foreign, or whatever, but he just hit you again with it outside the ring there. All right, there we go. Into the bleachers. He just crammed your head into the bleachers. How's that feel? Oh, I don't feel too good. Neither is that object right there. They're just jamming them on top of my head right now. And, of course, the referee can't see it. He's going out there to see if you were pulling his tights. <laughs> you know, Bobby Fulton screaming for a microphone at this point. Give me a microphone. Give me a microphone. And the referee said, give him one. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm going to beat you up, Mark. Don't come back in here. He said he beat you up. He said if I come back in there, he was going to beat me up. And, you know, that's, that's a good way to keep me out of the ring, I think. Well, good, good shoulder, shoulder into the midsection. Here we have a sunset flip. One, two. Well, you almost got him, but he, he was a little fresher than you were at that moment, I do believe. He was a little fresher, and he, I think he thought he was going to intimidate me not to stay out the ring. But there's that dreaded nerve hold that uh, he's picked up from somewhere. And that hurts, doesn't it? Well, it don't feel good. It kind of gets on your nerves, to say the least. That's why they call it a nerve hold. It gets on your nerves, puts a lot of stress on the body parts. Huh? Exactly. But I took my stress tab that morning, and uh, I'm going to fight out of this. <laughs> StarProWrestling.com is where you can find all the ICW action uh, fans. And, and right now you're watching the, the, uh, the DVD of uh, the best of me and Mark Ash. It's definitely a compilation, volume one, because I promise you, 14 years, I'm not, I'm not hanging it up anytime soon. There'll be a volume two coming out. There's a good fist to the midsection, one to his face, and uh, actually to the top of his head. Okay. And the referee's counting. At least he's not accusing him of pulling the tights on his hair. Uh, there goes that famous foot to the face move you got. Yeah, I think he was trying to kick a field goal at that point. Oh. One, two, Bobby Fulton thought he had you. He, if he'd have hooked the leg, he might have had you there, but he didn't hook the leg. Now he's come up and got you in a chin lock. But, but what goes on here, people don't know you as well. Is you have a very strong uh, upper body and, and your neck is really strong. And, and you, you're actually catching your breath when they got this hold on you. Is that right? Exactly. He thought a snap suplex into that uh, chin lock there was going to take me out. He's got a long way to go. Because you, 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 you've been taking those for 14 years. <laughs> exactly. 
But that foot to the gut, when you're coming off the ropes, you just not what you can do about that. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of, wasn't a whole lot of room for you to breathe. Uh, you, you might have been breathing out about the time he got you also. There was that object again, whatever it was. He's got his foot on the rope, referee's counting, and uh, referee counted the two. He, he couldn't cheat and beat you. Right? <laughs> well, that's the point. Bobby Fulton, you know, I, I was in great shape, and uh, the title's on the line, too. When the title's on the line, it makes a big difference how hard you fight, because you can't afford to lose. If you lose, if you, lose you lose the title. There you go, whip into the corner, big foot to the face. Uh, that's, that's got to hurt with all your body all your body weight coming in, and all of a sudden there's just a big number 12 sitting there. Oh, exactly. It don't feel good. That's for damn sure. He's saying it's all over right now. Oh, there's, I, I don't know what that is, but... Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be either, that, but... That's John revolting is what that is. That's, that's John revolting on, on, on Sunday morning fever, I guess. Well, what he did, he tried to suplex, he got blocked, and he got suplexed. There you go. Both of you a little bit worn at this particular point in the match. There's a mid moves. Mid missed elbow drop. Well, he's a little bit fresher than I am right now because he's been on top for the last few minutes or so. Well, he is a good wrestler. I mean, the man has been to the top. There's no doubt about that. He, he's a good wrestler, and he's a good competitor. And... Uh, he may be back in the area again someday, too. That's very true. He's still around out there every once in a while. Of course, his head's about to be introduced to the ring post. And, and of course, uh, I really do feel like he thinks he owes you something. <laughs> well, he does. Now, I don't know if the camera can follow this because you see the right speakers and stuff were there. But and Even if, you, if the cameraman could not go, like I said, you see these these videos from the, from the fans' viewpoint. A lot of these videos are actually taken by fans in the different arenas and, and uh, places around uh, North Carolina, South Carolina. And uh, what you see is, is, is what they're able to get to. There are a big a stack of speakers. So even if he was able to turn the camera, you would probably wouldn't be able to see the action there. I don't know what you've done to him, but he didn't want no more of it. Well, actually, I introduced his head to the ring bell. If you, you, know, you could have heard oh, the bell rings a few minutes, a couple minutes ago. That's what that ring was. Exactly. Say I rang his bell, so to speak. Okay, here we go. He's trying to get out because he knew what was coming. See, the crowd's showing the referee how to count. And, and there's a sinus opener that you're famous for. Oh, yeah, some head to the turnbuckles there. Hard chopping. He got his attention now. Oh, there he goes again. No, no. Grab his ear like your mom used to there. Exactly. <laughs> Forcing oh. yourself foot to the gut. There you go. He's on the ropes. Oh, referee caught him. He's on the ropes there. But he thinks he's won. He said, no, your foot's on the rope. You did not win. Don't turn your back on Mark Ash. And you're about to find out why. There's the Ash kicker. And this match is over with the winner being all over. the mean one himself, Mean Mark Ash. You're watching the best of Mean Mark Ash wrestling, independent wrestling at its very, very best. You can find free streaming video at starpro.com. You can visit Mark Ash's website, which is markash.com. Or you can order DVDs direct at starpro.com.